So now we're on to page six. Now this is a little bit more complicated than some of the other pages that I've done. So if you're new to albums, I will try and explain this as easily as I can because what we've got here is lots of bits and pieces. So you've got your little twisty bit there and then you've obviously got your card there and then it opens the other way to create those two there. What we're going to start off with first is you obviously want to cover your back page first and then you want to go and grab all your elements to make the both pages and I think I've explained it well enough in the kit what you're going to get anyway. So this is what we're going to get in your page six. So you're going to get your long piece of card there to actually make your pocky flip bit and then you've got your background paper and you've got all your tags and all your papers. You may need to alter these slightly because I've only roughly measured them for the kits so you're going to have extra little bits and pieces but we'll just go through that as I add all those bits for you and you've then got all your little tags there, that bit there. So obviously again yours may be slightly different in your kit but you're going to have exactly the right amount of elements to make page six the concertina pocket. So you want to take your card and you want to cut it at 11 and a half inches long, five and a half inches wide. You then want to take one of the ends and punch along the end to give you a decorative edge. And then you want to lay that down on your scoreboard and you want to be scoring at four and a half and eight inches. That will give you your concertina pocket. Just make sure it all fits in there nicely. So next you want to take your piece of card that we're going to create the back there and I'm just going to go along and punch the corners just to take that harshness off that one. And again you can do this to all your album if you like. I just thought it would look neater. So then that needs to go down there. So we're just going to take that and if you want before you put that down if you want to put your corners with your photos to put your photo in and slide that in then you can and obviously in that case then you don't want to glue it all over you just want to add a little bit of glue just to hold that in place but I'm going to go ahead and just glue this on to my concertina pocket in the center that down. Right, so you want to go to your elements and grab your Tim Holtz game spinner and we're just going to add that on there before we add it into our album. So work out where you want to put it. I'm just going to put mine in the centre there about on that border there. I think that will be quite sufficient. That should grab all Everything. and I'm just going to grab my pokey tool just to add a hole so that I can get my brad through like that, that's it, yeah so grab your spinner and then you want to be popping your brad through like that so it's now all ready to start assembling. So next what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to do this before everything before we actually add it to the album. I think this will be a lot easier for you guys. So what I want to do, you should have a page like this in your kit, again, or very similar. It'll be this kind of size, so it's going to fit in there nicely. So I'm going to cut this down. So that we've got that image in the centre of our page. Just chop that a little bit. Oh, up there. Like that. So there we have the image that we're going to use. So you just want to take that 
and add that to I'll the I'm just going to stick that right down because that's just the decorative image. So I'm just going to glue that straight down onto there. And then we're just going to again take a piece of your blue card and create a border to add a belly bar across there. So just cut that to size. And then we're just going to add that about there. I haven't quite cut that straight. So we're going to add that about there. And that one, we just want to add some glue at each side so that the tag can go straight through. So that's quite an easy one. Just make sure you wipe all the glue off before you go ahead and do anything else. So just to show you, that's where one of your tags is going to go through and sit. Down. and then we're going to go to the next one and on that one we're going to take some of the blue card and you need to cut that so that it fits just in there and I'm just going to measure mine just so I can tell you what size it is and it is I'll just show you what we're doing here so mine I'm going to cut mine to about just over two and a half I think and about five, five and a quarter. I'll make a nice border for that. So I'm just going to take my cutter. So I'm going to cut at five and a quarter. And two, what did I say that was? Two and just over two and three quarters, I think that is. Oops. nicely in there. Just make sure it... And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a pocket with that one. So what you want to be doing is just gluing down the bottom and to one of the sides. Making sure it maps the right way up. And That just to make a nice thin pocket. You don't need to put any tabs in this one or anything, just to make that fit nicely, like that. So that's then going to close like that. So obviously we're going to, um, at the end of it, you can add your pearls and decorate it all up, but I just thought it'd be easier if we just go through and assemble the album first. So now what you want to do is add your always and forever tab there and again I'm just going to do that at each end to give you your belly bar Oops. really do it where you like I'm just going to pop mine about there I think just give me a nice little belly bar to add a tag so just make sure my tag's not going to fall out yeah, that's fine so there you have your first concertina page so now you want to be turning it over that way. I'm going to do this one this way to show you where to go. So that bit's going to be stuck on your page. And then you want to be decorating these two bits here. So we'll do this one first. So you want to take a sheet of card and you want to cut that to three and a half inches wide because we're going to do a fancy border edge there and five and a quarter in length. Just go ahead and cut mine to so three and a half, which mine is just about three and a half, so I must have cut this anyway. I'm just going to check it to five and a quarter. Going to get my border punch. Just make sure that you've got your because some of these 
I've obviously got your script and patterns on so I just want to make sure that it's going to be the right way so it's that edge that I want to be doing so just take your border punch and punch to give you your decorative edge then wants to go on that way and to about there just work out where I'm going so again that's going to be a little pocket as well now if you like you can add some tabs if you want to put quite a few tags in at the back but I'm just going to go ahead and just glue each side just make sure I just go at the top so that sticks nicely down there like that tidy up a bit as long as it's straight so that's given you your other pocket there so I'm just going to squeeze that up slightly just so that you've got a nice bit there to add and then this one wants to be Fit in there so that one's going to be two and three quarters by five and a quarter again so I'm just going to put a line so we're going to go five and a quarter by two and three quarters give or take a little bit so it doesn't have to be completely precise I'm afraid I don't do too much measuring as you've noticed so we're just going to stick that one down there. Yeah. And that one I've actually not made a pocket into. But again, if you want to make that into a pocket, I'm just thinking the one that I have done isn't a pocket. But I think I'm actually going to make that into a pocket. So I'm just going to glue some down here. And then I'm actually also going to just get my punch find your punch and I'm just going to pop a hole half a just so that I can take my tag out and grab it out nicely so just going to add that on there just giving us another pocket really hasn't it and that's the whole idea of this kind of album so you've got lots of nice little pockets that you've created and then we're just going to add a sentiment on this one here and again make the most of it and just make that into a little pocket little tab pocket so I haven't glued it at the bottom you can if you like because it's not really going anywhere so there we go so that's that one and then you want to take your other one that you've got so yours might say something slightly different but we're going to add that one across there again just a little belly bar so that you can tag and come underneath a little bit if it's a bit long I'll show you what I mean so you've got your tag and then your tag can just oops, wait until that one's dry sit in there I'm just going to hold that like that okay and then of course you've then also got that other little pocket in there that you can add a tag to or a picture because you can actually I think a really good idea for this kind of tag is you can add your journal in but you can also add a photograph on the other side like your photographs that you get in the booths your passport photographs or also which is really nice because I know my um, children have them when they get their school photos they have different sizes and some of them would fit perfectly in there so there we go so that's your concertina so now what we just need to do here is you need to add your button so you've got a decorative button that we need to be adding on there I'm just going to chop that because the button is plastic you should just be able to cut that down 
if it's a bit lumpy don't worry about it because it'll still stick but you might just need to chop it around a little bit and then you just want to go ahead and grab one of your sticky dots or use your glue gun whatever you prefer and I'm just going to add two there just to make sure that's nice and covered and just move that out of the way so then you just want to be adding that work out where you're going to add it and then if you want you can add a little tab with something stamped on it or if you've already got the celebrate the journey sentiment stamps you can add one of those but obviously I can't add that in here for you guys but I'm just going to show you that I'm just going to add that just to add a little bit of something else to it you'll also find as well in the kit that I'm going to add some little um, charms and bits and pieces that you can also add to decorate your journey album with so you then now need to take your page because we're ready to add that to your page like there so just work out where you want that so I'm going to put mine pretty to the edge because I want to add some decorative pearls down that edge and then you want to be leaving this bit opening here to give you another pocket now because this one is going to be having quite a bit of work done to it so you're opening and closing it what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my score tape down the sides because I think that's going to make it a little bit more secure and then I'll just add a little bit of glue as well just to doubly make sure that it's all on there nicely so just chop that down and down that side going to go I'm just going to work that out make sure I'm doing right and then that bit down there wants to put some tape on as well if you do want to purchase anything other than what I'm using on here I have got a hopefully by the time you've all got this tutorial my website will be up and running and the website is called peony crafts and you'll find lots of heartfelt creation products and hopefully in time I should be adding some other products on there as well that I like to use so I'm hopefully going to be getting the score tape and some glue and bits and pieces in as well for you all to purchase and some hobby house goodies as well all the pearls and bits and pieces so we're just going to add that on there I'm just going to add a bit of glue I think I'm not I think it is going to stick down but I just like to be 100% secure that that's going to stick nicely just make sure that's square on there it's really secure because as I say that is going to have a lot of oh pulled my thing off there I'm going to add another one sorry guys it's just that I've got lots of grime and glue and bits on my fingers and it hasn't stuck down very well there we go so that's that page and I'll just show you the page that of my album so obviously I've got that stamped on there and like I said you can do so you can decorate it all up with your pearls and everything as well so if you want to do that I'll just show you how I'm going to do that now so you want to go and grab your that I've given you so I just want to cut that to length down there I just think it finishes an album off or a card of my pearls I really do just finish them off so I want two of those just make sure that one's cut to the side so, let's not put it back to back it's easier to measure so if you put it back to back and you can cut that just there to make sure they're the same size and just take my score tape again this is the quarter inch score tape that I'm using on this one it comes in various different widths as well which is nice just make sure that's 
sure that that's not over my hole. As you can see, you can lift it up if you don't push it down too hard to begin with. You have got a bit of movement with it, so you can alter it slightly. I'm just going to add that down there, down there. And then your game spinner will just spin round and just hold that in place. And I just remembered we need to add the magnet. Okay, so we've got that. Now what I did forget to show you guys was we just need a, oops, a magnet on this side. So it might be easier before you add that bit just to pop your magnet on first. I'm terrible with these magnets. I really am sorry. I should have written a step by step out a bit better before I went ahead and did my tutorial. So that's where you want it. So I've just slid my magnet down there and I'm, as I say because I forgot to put the magnet in at the beginning before we added these elements. What I've done is I've added my other magnet on there and in your kit you'll get some little postage things and we're just going to add that on there. So I'll just go ahead and stick that down. I'm going to use tape because it is going over the magnet and I find that a little bit easier for it to just stick to the magnet. Try not to get any on where your magnet is going to go. So just like so. And just take the tape off. boring bit. That's why I do like this, this score tape, it does actually come off really easy. And then I'm just going to add that, how am I going to put that, let's have a look. Just add that an angle, I like my angles. So that just covers that up and then you've got your magnet. <laughs> 